Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello, everybody. Uh, let me do the ticker. I almost forgot about that. That's still set up from last time. I'm just going to go in and get those and set the new ones. Number one, 47. How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Oh, what did I do that for? I don't need to enter. Okay. Configure video. Bring it on back. I'll tad so that you guys can see. See, 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 see. It's probably. Does it seem dark to you? Why does it seem dark? Is it just me? Does the video seem dark to you guys or is it okay? It seems dark to me. Did I accidentally hit something last night? A bit dark? Okay. I must have hit something on the brightness or something. Is that better? I'm also going to shut off the autofocus. Okay. Yeah, that seems better now. Now it seems better. How's everybody doing? All right. We, hi, Janie and Renee and Cheryl John. Hello. And Esther and Julie and NNC. Hello. And Tiffany. Hello. And Kathy. Hello. Sharon. Hello. And Gail. Uh, did I miss anybody? Renee, hello. I think I said that already. I'm not sure. Sharon, hello. Erin, hello. Naraz, Joan, hello. You got a bad comment on your other channel. What's your other channel? Is it something... Hi, Laura. Hi, Michelle. Is it, is it, what's your other channel? Because I don't recognize your name. I'm going to, I'm doing two today because of what we're doing later. I want to have a lot of options because these are going to be things that we're going to use in our, in the second part of this live stream. After we do Mixed Media Mashup, we're going to make Tiki faces, which, um, I only learned about very, not long ago, um, using a different gesso than normal. This is a stuff that I had in a bigger container, Plaza Studio gesso. So I'm using that today because it's a little bit thinner and easier to spread. And I forgot that I had it. I've gotten it creative reuse in like, I think a big bucket thing. Yeah, it's much easier to spread. It's a bit thinner. It's more like regular gesso. The other stuff I have is like thick, thick, thick. I mean, it's probably a cheap gesso. I think it's like a some sort of store brand of somebody's Tick Blick or what's the other one? Jerry's Art Around? No, that's that other gesso I have. Something like that though. I don't think it's a expensive gesso. But you don't need an expensive gesso. Wait, huh? Hi, NNC. Yes, I, I am selling masks. Um, I do have a little bit of a waiting list of about, I won't be able to make any more until um, early next week. So probably like Tuesday-ish, Wednesday-ish, I'll, I'll make it and then it'll go out bef like about the end of next week. So it's up to you if that's okay with you. Um, 
because there might be somebody else you can get it from that might be doing them faster but unfortunately that's as fast as I can get them because I'm not as fast at sewing which is Satu and then see is Satu or Nara's Oh, set two. Okay, she just said. Never mind. Naras. Nar, nar, naras. Okay, set two. Get it. Get it. Got it. Good. Sorry. I'm confused. What do you mean you got... I don't understand, set two. What do you mean you got a nasty... What does that have to do with you having... Being on your cha, on your name? Why is it making it so you can't sign in or something? Oh, now you're on that name. <laughs> I'm confused. But I also like, I also too for guys like gray black. Okay. Um. Yeah. If you want, do you do you know who? Um. Are you on my Facebook? Or do you know who I am on Facebook enough to message me? Uh, under my personal Facebook, not my pink poodle crafts or, excuse you, <laughs> this thing is like having a mind of its own today, stay, because I will write down your name, what's your name on Facebook? Oh, Rhonda. Which Rhonda? I know a couple of Rondas, so. Rhonda, you want one? They're $10 each plus shipping. But I'll message you about details of exactly what fabrics you want and this, that, and the other. So, and two... Masculine. Yeah, uh, it's pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com. It's my channel name. Uh, just no spaces at gmail. That too, just look, if you get bad comments, just ignore it. You can't, you can't, everybody gets bad comments. Everybody. You have to just let it roll off your back or else it will affect your channel. It'll affect you and it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't let them, don't let anybody that says crappy things affect your channel. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, it's crazy. That would be like if you were doing a piece of art and some little kid came in and said, oh, you're doing that wrong. That doesn't know anything. Like, would you would you listen to them? No. So don't let somebody's stupid comments. Just, just pretend that it's just a little kid. Because most of the time, that's what it is. Just ignore them and keep doing your art. Because if you let them make you do something, you know, differently because of them, then they win. You know what I mean? Then they've done, then they've won. You know, it's not worth it. Everybody on YouTube ha gets, it's it's like a rite of passage. Everybody gets crappy comments. I get them every day. So, you know, you can't let that bother you. I understand being sensitive, but at the same time, you have to just, you really do have to just let it go. I know, it sucks. Yep. Yep. And that's a little kid. Don't worry. Like, like literally, it's a little, it's literally a little kid. That's it. It's, it's just a little kid being an ass. They're all over YouTube and don't even pay attention to it. They don't have any, you got to think of how sad their life is. Their life is that pathetic that they have to feel better about themselves by saying something crappy about you. You know what I mean? You're beautiful. 
Don't let what anybody else says tell you any different. Just delete them. You know what I like to do? If somebody says, oh, you got gross hands. You know what I always comment with? I'll comment with, oh, don't talk about yourself that way. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> they, they usually will never come back to your channel again anyway. What do you mean? And did not get that comment through. What do you mean? Hi, Rinka. Hi, Lance. Hi, Denise. Hi, anybody else that came in? I know you know all that, but sometimes it's good to hear it from somebody else to put it into perspective. That's all. Just rest assured that everybody is... Comment was on checking list? I don't know what that means. What do you, what's a checking list? Was it on YouTube or was it somewhere else? I seen that your new machine came in. It was in her com. Oh, like oh, I see what you're saying. It was in the in the in the thing where you had to go approve it. Yeah, just delete it. It's in there. You know they do that for a reason. Oh yeah, I know what you meant now. Yeah, that's well. It never got to your it never got to your actual thing, which is good. So just to just delete it. I know it sucks, and the first time you get a comment like that, it's always the worst, you know what I mean, when you get one, and you know, uh, and usually people don't start getting it, that means, look, look at it this way, it means that your channel popped up in their recommendations, and that's how they ended up at your channel, they probably weren't paying attention, and it means that YouTube put your video out there to new people, and I know that it doesn't help that it, it got a bad comment, but... You're, that means you're you're doing good, actually. Do you know what I mean? That means you're doing good. If you're getting a bad comment, it actually means you're doing good. Why? Because that means more people are seeing your videos. I know, you have to put a good spin on it. It's the only way, <laughs> you know, and that's the truth, though. It means other people are seeing it. All right, so I'm doing two. You don't have to do two. I'm doing two because I want to have two different like color um, ways because we're going to do something afterwards with these. My hands are still purple from yesterday. But not so bad. They're getting better. It's just like here and here. Um... We're going to make some cool things with our mixed media mashups. I'm going to do two just so that I can have some options because I'm going to use these as the features on our art on our little tiki dolls. Um, and Miss Angie DiStefano was nice enough to lend me her picture so that I asked her if it would be okay if I used a picture of hers because I haven't made one yet um, as my thumbnail for the video for the live stream. You'll be okay, so too. You'll grow a thick skin being on YouTube. I promise you that. Your skin will get thicker. And you will learn to just delete it and go, ah, it won't bother you so much. The first time is always the worst. So is there anybody that's new to doing mixed media mashup? Yes, I know. I watched her video. That's what I was going to reference. 
um, when we get started because that's the only video I kind of watched and I only I was only able to watch it kind of uh, for a few minutes because until I just I just needed to get the hang of what was going on because I didn't have a lot of time um, because I saw this like the day before yesterday and then it was like I almost forgot that I wanted to do this until today and I went oh I need to look and see just to get an, a, a, a brief idea <laughs> You've never done what? Mixed media mashup? Yeah, Jean Peter made some really cool ones. So she's the video I watched that um, gave me some good ideas and stuff. And then I saw, well, I saw Angie's pictures first. And I asked her who's done a video on it that I can reference. You haven't been making videos for a long time? Well, mate, maybe you should make some more videos. Yeah, she's very, very good. Yeah, she's a very talented lady. Yes, Tigger is snoring, thankfully. Because <laughs> that means he's not bugging me. He almost tripped me today to the point where I almost went head over ass outside. Because he decided that he was going to literally twist his leash right in front of me and run across to the other side and I didn't notice he did it for a second because I had a garbage bag in my hand and I couldn't see and I almost you know split my head open on the cement no I've not seen her journals um I haven't you know watched a lot of her stuff but I've seen some of the stuff she's posted and everything What paper size? What size paper for mixed media mashup? Good lord, Tigger. Um, if you want to make the dolls that we're making, you can use, you know, watercolor paper. Um, because, uh, but we're going to need some chipboard or cardboard. Um, they, a lot of times, use just regular old cardboard, you know, like even the corrugate cardboard, they, they use that a lot. Um, I'm going to use chipboard because, uh, I have it and I don't have, I don't have, I have cardboard, but I want to use some chipboard. And what I'm going to do is glue this down to some chipboard as after I cut it out, like you'll see later, just, just do your mixed media mashup. However you normally do it. It doesn't matter. Um, and I'll show you what we'll do. You don't need to, uh, you can do it with your watercolor paper just like normal. For the faces, we're just going to use, like, you can use whatever size you have. It doesn't have to be a specific size. You can make them a little bit smaller. You can make them bigger. Some people make them around this size, I guess. Like, well, it, you know, we're going to cut it. They're not going to be perfectly square. But, you know, I'm going to actually use some chipboard because I have these, you know, thicker chipboard. And I, I have actually, that's a thinner one. I have one that's actually thicker than that. Here, these are fairly thick chipboard. I'm going to use those. You can use cardboard. You can use a cereal box. You can use something like a box, literally a, a corrugated box. You can use that. You can use anything, really. Anything you have, you can use because there's not really, I, I would imagine there's not a, there's not like a rule. You know, you can use a, you can make small ones if you want. You don't have to make them big. You, if you can't, you know, if you don't have big paper, and, you know, or whatever, you can make, you know, ones that are like that big. They don't have to be big. I'm going to make bigger ones. I might make a few little ones just for fun. So. Relax, Laura. <laughs> you weren't even here last week. We had a lot of fun last week and you were not here. You missed it. But I'm going to do two. Um, if you want to do two, that's fine. You could do, like, take yours and cut it in half. Just to have two different colors. Um, 
So, and that's the only reason I'm really doing it this way is to have like, and I might even, I might even do half of this one in one color and half of it in another, just to have a couple different colors so that when I go to do the faces, I can make like different colors and we could change them up too and you'll see, but you could do two if you want. You can use your one paper and do it one color way and another, you could use all the same things, just switch your colors out. That's all. I think it would be interesting to do that, but I'm going to try to do three uh, or two or three different colors, but two papers. I'll try and see how well I get, see if I remember. Hmm. All right. He wasn't feeling it. Well, where else would they be? It's, it's Wednesday. Hi, Diana and Joyce. Hi, Aaron. Right, who's playing along with us today? And going to stay to make uh, our our dolls, our uh, tiki dolls, tiki faces. Michelle and Tiffany. And Sharon and JD. Hi, Joy. And Laura, oh, okay, well, I'll just, I'll, I'll help you out. I'll take you, I'll boot you out of the, out of the chat. <laughs> she kicked my ass. Sharon's playing. And Joy's playing. And Janie's playing because she's going to make some tiki dolls. Hi, Jean Peter. We were talking about you. Were your ears ringing? Her ears must have been ringing. Hi, Aaron. You're going to play later. There's no time like the present. Do I make damn it dolls? Um, I don't know what they are. I do. I kind of do. I, I seem to remember that, but I don't know what they are exactly. But hi, Shelly. No, I didn't get up until late. So I just got up literally about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> and in, in order to get ready for this, it took a little while. So unfortunately, I didn't wake up very, uh, very early today. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I have them. That's right. That's why I have. I have the ones that you could buy. That's why that name sounded familiar. The little, their little damn it doll keychain things. I have like three of those. I know what you're talking about. I think, didn't we make something? No, I was going to make something. That's right. Remember I talked to you about it a long time ago, Janie. And I never did. Remember we talked about that a long time ago? You had a damn it doll named Brian. Oh no, the damn it dolls are, the, uh, I know what they are. Never mind. I'm thinking of the little keychain ones. No, the damn it dolls, I have one of those in purple that I got when I was at the hospital. Those are those ones that they're called damn it dolls because you could beat the hell out of them and like take your aggressions out on them and like also like voodoo-y like. Um, but yes, I have, that's right. I Now I know what you're talking about. I have a purple one and it was in my bedroom. It's probably still in my bedroom. Um... That's right. I remember. 
I was getting it confused with those other dolls that were the keychain voodoo dolls that come with like a pin stuck in it and it's like a it's like a little keychain. Those were a different one. Damn it dolls are the ones that yeah, I got mine in the hospital. <laughs> Did you make a tiny voodoo doll? Yeah, for like years ago, I was talking to Janie one time and about making um these little voodoo dolls that I've made before like a long time ago and I want to make I wanted to make them a, I wanted to make some diff, a little bit differently though, and I never ever got around to doing it. Yeah, damn it, dolls are are cute. I got it when I was in the hospital when I had my cancer. Now I remember what it was. I knew it was like I was trying to place what it was, and I for a minute thought it was those other ones. All right, we're gonna get started and pick a card. Start out with a Google, um, um, gessoed piece of paper, uh, preferably something heavyweight or this is watercolor. That's fine. And, but anything you use, we can always, we can always attach it to a piece of chipboard later and glue it on. All right. The first card is apply paint with a credit card or any kind of card that you have or a scraping device of some sort. You can use a palette knife. I say credit card because everybody has one of those somewhere lying around some sort of old card. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to apply some paint. I'm going to pick three colors so that I can do three different color ways, I guess. I'll do a yellow, um, a teal, and let's do a pink. So I'll pick a few different colors, yellow and orange maybe, and teal, and mm, let's do lime green. Okay. So I'm going to do teal and green over here, yellow and orange, and pinks. One, two, three. Grab a card and just start having a good time and see how many times I screw up and go across the whole page. Actually, it might help if I just kind of, even though it will get covered up, just for until I get used to. Let's just do like a little thing like that. And I don't care if I go over it a little bit, but as long as my main colors stay, I'll know what that line is for. Are you gonna play along with us, Jean? You can use it to make more of your dolls. She's the one I watched the video of because I was, I saw, the first person I saw with the, the things was Angie. I saw, it came across my, my feed and I, I thought they were cute and I said, I want, that would be fun to do with mixed media mashup. And then I had asked her today um, if I can use her picture and then I said, can you direct me to a, somebody who's done a video so I can, you know, have a quick look to get an idea? And that's when she told me you you had a video. So if you haven't subscribed to Miss Jean Peter, go subscribe to her because then you could see her make her awesome damn it dolls, which are beautimous. And hers are really nice. And she has other things on her channel too that's amazing. She's a very good artist. And I'm good at making a mess. Well, that's how it should be. That's how I do a lot of things. Um, 
You just do things as you, you know, you think of something and you make it happen. It's always nice when I find something else that you can use your mixed media mashups for because we do the mixed media mashup as a basically as a practice, as a training to get your brain used to layering and being random and making a mess, which is all fun things about mixed media that some people have a hard time with and this way you don't have to think because the cards will do it for you and you can just have fun making your mess and as you go your brain starts to get rewired a little bit into into not being so scared of doing mixed media when you want to do it you'll be less afraid to put something on the paper I'm going to put a little bit of a darker color with that because it's so similar. Let's do a, let's grab this darker orange and throw some of that on there. Just do it this way. Drop. Drop. Need a little more. A little more contrast, a little more something else. All right, that's a pretty easy prompt. more time. I saw that I saw that you called Barbara, but I saw that literally like five minutes before I was going live. I saw you called this morning, I think it was, but I was already asleep and I didn't get up today until it was like six or six thirty maybe. I got up late. 
this evening. <laughs> but I didn't go to bed till sometime this morning. Eight, maybe? Eight or eight thirty. Oh, are you? Oh, crap. Well, stay safe, Missy. Make sure you have the news on so you can hear what's going on. Sorry about your grandma, Erin. I hope she gets better. We're doing something called mixed media mashup where we use prompt cards and we just follow whatever the prompt cards say. And we, we do, we'll pick 10 prompt cards and they'll tell us what to put on the paper. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's easy to do. Hi, Bima. All right, we're gonna pick the second card. And we are going to collage, decoupage, some ephemera. Which means any kind of paper that you have, scrap paper, any old thing you have that you want to collage down. And that's, now's the time to do it. So, let's see. I have some, mm -hmm. I have some of that I could put on there. Along with these pieces. I have some of that I can put on there. Or I have these little pieces put in oranges. page, you can use uh, music paper, you can use scrapbook scraps, anything that you have laying around that you can use would be perfect. That's a lot of arms in there. Let's see. Do I have any pink? Close enough. I don't have much paint. I do have some music paper. Maybe full enough. I 
keep the weirdest scraps sometimes. I probably won't even use all of these, but at least I have a variety of things. have some glue uh where's my where is it hmm. oh there it is i was gonna say i knew it was around here somewhere i just being snooky hiding from me let's start with this pink ish paper and I just you just take them and slap them down pretty much anywhere you want you don't have to think about it too much they're just to add a little extra color and pattern on your paper and most of it's gonna get you know covered up anyway But you'll see, you'll see peeking through when you're done, you'll see, you know, various remnants of your papers that you glue down and everything else that you do in the first three or four prompts will peek through at the end. You hear snoring in the background of my of the live stream that's it's my dog tigger he is very vocal sleeper as of late <laughs> i wonder if he has doggy sleep apnea is there such a thing get him a little nebula nebulizer thing to sleep with <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> i wonder if they make one for dogs that would be pretty funny. CPAP. Oh, yeah, 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 CPAP. What did I say? Nebulizer? That's not, yeah, I meant CPAP. Nebulizer, that's that thing you do if you're doing a breathing treatment. I had enough glue down there. I don't know why I added more, but that's okay. It will be very gluey. Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. Well, maybe he needs them. It's only because he he purposely buries his face into the, like, crook of his, like, bed thing. So it's more him doing it <laughs> to himself. That's why it happens. Because you don't know why he likes to bury his face. He always kind of did like to bury his face. I'm putting a lot of purple down here. That's okay. It can be purple and pink. Thicker papers usually need a little more help sticking down. And scrap of paper usually needs a, a dose on the back and then it 
take the rest of it and put it on the front because scrap of paper, thicker scrap of papers don't like to stick down very well. Oh, knocking over things. I thought there was another piece of scrap of paper over here. Oh, maybe it was just that one. This one's really thick. Really thick paper. It's like cardstock and the bottle has a dried glue at the top of it. You don't want that. Where's my sticking you at? Mm. Maybe we'll stick it up here somewhere. Here, there, and everywhere. Oh, I think that's good for that side. Let me scoot this out of my way for a moment. opportunity to be messy and just not care. Y'all need to have that de-stressing where we're just not thinking very much and just doing, not having to make too many decisions, instead just sticking some nice messy glue on a paper and going, get it out, get it out, get it on there, <laughs> make a mess and get out our frustrations on our our stress on some paper. Whoa, my glue's trying to escape. Hi, Kellyanne. And if there's anybody else that came in. That I didn't say hi to. It's not because I'm ignoring you. Because I'm not paying attention to the chat. But any of my mods will say hi, and basically that's like me saying hi. <laughs> they say hi for me when I when I'm busy. Oh, 
thicker, so it needs a little help. Jazzy. What are you doing today, Miss Shazzy? Barbara, are you playing along today? What? Did you fall asleep already? <laughs> are you playing along today? As soon as you know who wakes up, he's going to immediately want to go O-U-T, for sure. So I hope he stays asleep for a little while. <laughs> Let's throw this down. Let's throw it somewhere sticky. Oh no, I had to open my mouth. He literally just shook. As if to say, I am. I'm up. Sleep. Please go back to sleep. Please go back to sleep. Please go back to sleep. Please snore again. Snore. Go back to sleep. Sleepy time. Night night. <laughs> Lullaby. Good night. I'm afraid to look behind me. Oh, I got one. It's still usable. All right, we're done with this side. I just forgot. I got another paper to do. Oh, I broke my paintbrush. <laughs> I'm really rough on my paintbrush, I guess. This one was already broken, and I tried to fix it. <laughs> it was that's why that tape was around it, cause I I glued it with E6000 too, and apparently we'll just use it. It'll it'll have to be like that, but that one's driving me nuts, cause it's not big enough anyway. I use my paintbrushes until they're like I get a lot of my paintbrushes used, and I use the hell out of them. And beat the hell out of them and then they eventually either break or just die <laughs> all right let's put this aside for a minute okay stop thicker papers sometimes like to bubble up Oh no. Alright, let that one dry. And we'll throw some stuff down on this puppy.
think he went back to sleep. Thank goodness. Uh, it's almost uh, uh, 0.024. How thick is that? Oh, oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound very thick at all. Is that in inches? 0.24 would be almost a, just about a quarter of an inch. But 0.024, is that a quarter of an inch of a quarter of an inch? <laughs> is that like a quarter of a quarter of an inch, I mean? I don't know. I'm not good with measurements. Clearly. In what aspect though is are you like talking about paper or down the glue. My fingers start to stick to things. Laura needs a plumber. Who needs a plumber? We have certain colors. You can use any colors you want. 
um, unless it unless a card says to use a certain color. But typically, you can use whatever color you want. Um, that doesn't matter. It's kind of just up to you. Today I'm doing three different color schemes and two different papers. Sometimes the card will say like use black or use blue or something like that. Um, but that's the only time that it'll kind of direct you to use a color. Otherwise you pick your own colors. You've played with us before, haven't you Kelly? And if there's something we pick that you don't have you can A, either skip it or, if, or like substitute it with something, you know, relatively close or, you know, whatever you have. It's, you know, I don't want to ever make it so that it, 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 it excludes anybody in any way. So if, even if you have like the minimalist of supplies, you could still play along. There's definitely a substitute for pretty much everything that we do. And if you're not sure of what to substitute, you know, um, just ask us and somebody will, in the chat, will give you, I can give you suggestions or somebody, people in the chat usually have great suggestions for substitutes. So there's always that. But you can, you know, use whatever substitute you want, really. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they can't do something. They can't play along just because, oh, I don't have many supplies. Because we've had people play along that had, like, literally, like, three things. And, you know, three things on the list, you know. And we've helped them find substitutes that worked, even when they didn't have very much. And just, there we go. <laughs> I'm gluing it to, apparently I'm gluing it to my glass mat. It wants to go. There's always a way to make it work. I want a piece of this. And we'll put the birdie on there. Yeah. It's going to show or anything in a little while, but just for fun. Just for fun. Okay. suppose anybody needs me to wait but I don't mind waiting at all but most people are probably not doing three whole separate <laughs> color schemes you might
referring to paper when you said 0.024? That's like a thin weight copy paper, isn't it, or something? I don't know. If you're referring to your scanning cut, you might be able to look that up online. Yeah, I'd look that up online because you should be able to Google it and figure and find out what paper weight that is. to stencil now so you grab yourself some stencils and whatever paint you want um, and stencil my number stencil. I have a stencil. I used to use it all the time. And it has all different like numbers. I haven't seen it in a while and I know it's in here somewhere. Unless those little gremlins stole it from me again. Then you'll mess up. It's not the one I was talking about, though. Hmm. I don't see it. It's so weird. The stencil that I always used. 
can just absolutely disappear out of nowhere. I don't know. That's all right. Let me grab some colors. Some color. some paints that I hadn't used really. I have some of these whoops tube paints that I've not used. This one called pistachio. It's cool looking. It's like an orangey color, kind of. Okay, got color. We got sponges. We got two. That should do it. And I've got stencils. So we're ready to go, finally. <laughs> So let's do this yellow. It's a speedball. <laughs> I love using speedball as paint or not. Whoa, that needs to be mixed up a little bit. Downfall of have, having two paints is you have to find a way to mix them, even though there's not really a good way to mix them. <laughs> Just massage the tube. Yes, I'm going for a triple play because... I want some variety in my faces. Hi, Teresa. In our faces that we're gonna make, this will give me a little variety. Massage the tube, massage the tube. Let's hope that did something. I think it did. Ooh, that was gross. Okay. I haven't been used in a while. Let's mix that up a little. There you go. That's better. way more than I need now on there and I can't put it back which is why I don't like tube paints generally because I feel like I waste more paint that way but I can always have start myself a, a sheet where I just put a mishmash of various colors all over it oh maybe I will use it actually more than I thought I would it's a thicker paint so that's probably why 
Yeah, I did kind of use it, I guess. Whoa, get back here. Don't you fall on the floor and make a mess. No falling on the floor and making a mess. Speeding, going as fast as I can so not to make you guys wait for me too much but that stresses me out so I need to stop doing that and not worry about it I'll do one there so that that has time to dry and then we'll move to this side let's do this like Harlequin one Would you like me to make you some stencils? Um, no, you don't have to do that. I have a million stencils and I make stencils too. So, no, make some stencils for you, girl. But thank you. Believe me, I've got stencils coming out my rear end. I haven't made stencils in a while, but then again, I got stencils. Is that sticky paint. I love the color, but I don't like the stickiness of it. Sticky, 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 sticky. Okay, let that one dry. You have a scoreboard coming too? Cool. Someone had fun with their stimulus check. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know if you did use that or not. I'm having a good old time getting you some goodies for crafting. Yeah, I love my scoreboard too. It's very helpful. Very helpful. It is a very, very, very helpful tool to have. I don't want to grab the wrong paint, which I'm. I love this color. It's a cool color. I'm going to have to do it up here. Let's do these cool lines. Oh, cool. Oh, you did get yours. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, you stimulate in the economy. <laughs> See, we have to buy craft supplies. That's that's our part to, to stimulate the economy. <laughs> Speaking of, you can come stimulate the economy at my auction on Sunday. <laughs>
this one? It's like musical papers. Hi, Jude. been used either is what two parts glue and one part water that's the are you talking about the, the the collage glue that I make yeah two parts of like Elmer's glue and one part water this was bought at Pearl what the hell is a Pearl is that a store I don't know I got it at the creative reuse beats me Ooh, another reason I hate tubes <laughs> They spit at you. My water is going to be disgusting by the end of this. I was the extra strong Elmer's glue. Oh, you have the extra strong. Yeah, that's. I have that too. You can use that. I mean, this stuff here, the uh, extreme, this. You can use that if that's what you have. You can totally use it. You might want to mix that half and half, uh, a little bit, a little bit more than 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 one part water, like one and a half parts water. Maybe try that. So it's not too thin, but because that stuff's a little thicker, isn't it? I think. Yeah. I just used that the other day. For what did I use that for? Oh, when I was do when we were doing the box in the class. I used that uh, to make to make a crackle on my box. That is a very 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 thick paint that can use a little squirt of water to a little bit to get the rest out of there. I might have to get more but okay, I added too much water but that's okay like so card making right what Elmer's glue oh well not mixed with water if you're mixing it with water that would be it for collaging but if you're making cards you could just use it straight out of the bottle bowling I would have just gotten a strike delayed strike that was interesting
So what colors is everybody using on theirs today? Oh. On their mixed media mashups. Purple, are you catching up? You are catching up. And Laura's using green, pink, blue, orange light shades. And Kellyanne's using cream and pink and green. And Shazzy's using purple, pink, and gold. Sharon's using purple, pink, yellow, green. JD's using yellow, orange, and two greens. Cool. And Tiffany started with green, red, and yellow, but it's rainbow. <laughs> there you go. Rainbow's good. Rainbow works. All the colors. Are you guys all working one page or is anybody doing more than one page? Is anybody as crazy as me to do <laughs> more than one? Is that close to the same color? Use a darker blue. You're doing two. You're doing three, Jean? What colors are you using, Jean? And Sharon's doing two. Your, your page is 16 by 20. There you go. Then you can. Did you have it? Do you have it sectioned off where you're doing different colors in different areas? Or you're just going for one big, one big colorful mamba jamba. to get that off of there. <laughs> Not very good. Not very opaque, I, think, I guess. For a dark color. Stencil's annoying because it's bent. 
I haven't sat and taken a heat gun to it to kind of reset it. Because I'm lazy. Let that dry go back to the next one. We'll do like one more round through each of them. It's kind of fun to do three different colors. Different. I want to get a little bit of heat. That yellow paint takes forever to dry. Oh, it's the speed ball. That's probably why. <laughs> Usually the speedball does take a while to dry. But I like it though. I find it all the time at the Creative Release and I snag it because I love it. It lays down nice color, typically. Uh, let's see, we got this one, which I think, did we do that one? Yeah, I think we did. Let's do this metallic one. It's like, mm, that's kind of a pink. That's okay. That's all right. It's a pinkish. I thought it was more, a little bit more orange. I can make it a little more orange by adding some of this. Why not? see what happens <laughs> could turn it into a disaster but you know no nah, nah, it, it worked it made it more orangey cool I like it, it made it a nice kind of corally orange which is pretty 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 A sponge. I'm just doing your thing. Well, that's good. Have at it. I only put a little orange in, so it definitely still stayed metallic. It's that's good. I oh, didn't want to lose the metallic. On camera, it looks the same color as that one, but it's really not. It's close, but it's not. Good enough. Let's put a little here. Some extra paint, so I'm going to grab. Oh, I have a paper right over here. I have this paper that it's been sitting here. I can well, now that I put the sponge in there. I can. Take what's off of there too. Kind of smear it all over. Smear it. That can be my extra piece. Extra piece. morning a while, while a while ago and I always forget that I have it and it's such a pretty pretty pale pink Let's do some 
lighten this up a little bit. This will also be another sheet for when I make my faces. will be mm, maybe the metallic greens maybe we'll kind of put both of them on there you like metallics I like metallics too are the best. Right, we will show some of that color there. It's like a metallic green and then here is a metallic lime green because why not? And I will stick some stars down with that one. second and we'll put these numbers down with this one that's really light because <laughs> of thin numbers these aren't thick like my other ones but that's okay I'll do some of these and then That's better. I'll rub it on there. That's better. Cool. Too cool for school. I guess I'm not using that one. Though.
I have a Cricut and I do make some stencils. I just haven't in a while because I've had stencils. I had a bunch, you know, I, I carried a lot of stencils in my store. I still have stencils in my store. And I always, of course, had one for myself that I kept. So I have like a lot of stencils. <laughs> like I'll show you my drawer. And this is just my small stencils are in here. And there's like a ton. And these are just the small ones that I use for like mixing media. I have a whole stack of 12 by 12 and bigger stencils. But these are just the ones I use for mixed media mashup and mixed media that I keep close by. I actually did a class in our Patreon about making your own supplies, including stencils, without having any kind of Cricut or anything. Uh, same with stamps. And we made some mixed media stamps and some stencils. Which are in that drawer somewhere. anybody need any extra time I don't mind waiting Shazzy you need a few extra minutes I just did it. <laughs> you were there. I just did it. When did I do that, Janie? Uh, Janie, remember? What was that, like two months ago? Here, I'll jog your memory. You'll remember. Let me show you. Remember, we die cutted foam shapes and made foam stamps. No, that's not the die cutted one, but this one. We made like the foam stamps and stuff. This is the one I die cutted and made. You remember, don't you? Right around two months. I made this block stamp that has like different. We used corrugated make like a mixed media stamp. I made this one, which is like a cool steampunky kind of stamp. Hi Dorothy. You remember. We just have a brain fart. I know you were there. Whoa. <laughs> Accidents over here, I'm trying to keep my paint organized a little better so that they're not tipping over, but they're doing it anyway. All right, we will pick another card. Nobody has any objections. Hi, Crystal. Yeah, I yeah, knew you'd remember. Believe me, I don't remember half the classes I do either. And I do them, so. <laughs> I 
pick a card. The, I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Picking a card. I didn't even remember to pick a card. All right, so you're gonna add die cuts or punch shapes. So whatever you got laying around, if you have some punches, you can punch something out and glue it down. Or die cuts. Um, let's see. I have double cuts in here. Let's see what I got. Got like this one. I could put it on there. And if you don't have die cuts or punch shapes, just improvise and maybe you have like something else you can put down. some stuff out. I have these. Somebody, did I make these or did somebody make these for me? I think somebody made those for me. They're like little, well they're little painted stickers but eh, same difference. <laughs> uh, this is caught. I have my other die cuts in a bag somewhere but I'm not sure what I did with them. I have a blue fairy. Get over there. Let's see. You can't open your drawer. <laughs> crap in it. Okay. okay. I have a couple of things, and then I have a couple of punches that I can use. I have these papers that I slapped some paint onto and what I can do is wherever the color is I can just like punch out a thing like that. And there's a pink butterfly. There's a yellow butterfly. On there. There's a purple and pink butterfly. Let's see, there's a flower. There's a heart 
kind of getting on there. Ugh, didn't cut. That's a hard one to get to cut. I'm going to cut that off a little. Cooperating. <laughs> Not at all. Can I get in there, please? Come on. This thing's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Paper will not cooperate. You get into this spot. There we go. Jackass. Jackass. Okay, we need a. Do a half of a star. Stick it off the page somewhere. Just get all kinds of creative about it. Yeller. Good night, Gail. Oh, I was doing the star. <laughs> Get it on the dang paper. It's very hard to get these bigger punches to line up. Alright, we got some stars. We got a butterfly, we got that. Okay. Butterfly, what about flowers? Um, Can be more scrap papers for when I collage. I guess that's good enough. Messy. Messy. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Lance. But <laughs> that's what it is, isn't it? I'm a potty mouth. What can I say? What's my punishment, Lance? thumbs up. Give a subscribe if you're not subscribed. Don't be shy. Janie doesn't bite.
Right, Janie? You don't bite. Well, you might sometimes. If you're nice to her. <laughs> Tiffany does. I do. I didn't say I didn't bite. <laughs> Talk about potty mouth, Rinka. <laughs> Hi, Renee. What if I said it out loud? that I bite that you do sun now. It may be a pandemic, but there's food out there, I promise. <laughs> no reason to eat the children. Away. I still have a whole other page to do. Go Hi, Carla. Carla's here. You better watch out because she bites. She has sharp teeth. This one is my favorite today. The blue and the blue and green theme going on. cuts but I've seen them and I was like I like those I can't remember who made them for me I jelly printed them or something let's stick one of them there but they match and I like them I've been hoarding them for a while
just going to pop them all over the place. my medicine mm. time to take your medicine don't forget to take your medicine forgot. Where am I putting it? We're going to stick it right there by the other butterfly. They're, they're friends. ever get my necklaces. Yes, I did. Did you not get a message from me, Jean? Did I not tell you that? I could have sworn I did. Oh, you know, I think you were, maybe you had popped into my live stream and I could have sworn I mentioned it, but maybe you were gone and I meant to message you because I said, oh, I think she left and I, for some reason, forgot. But I did get them. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't act. I did, if I didn't message you, I'm sorry. My, I'm very scatterbrained, but I did finally get them. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I'll be doing the Care Heart auction next Saturday. Not this Sunday, but the following Saturday, which is, oh, is that the, or Friday, Saturday? Well, it'll be the 2nd of May. I thought it was still the end of the month. I thought it, the 31st was on Saturday, but 30th is on Thursday, and there is no 31st in April. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so it'll be next, um, we'll do it next Saturday night. Uh, we'll be the, uh, what do you call it? The Care Heart, the Disabled Artist Foundation Brain Fart. <laughs> I'm having brain farts. Beautiful necklaces, too. So if you're interested in donating anything handmade, you have time to send it out if you have anything that you, you know, want to send out for the benefit um, for the Disabled Artist Foundation. Because it's going to be a week and a half away, so you got plenty of time. I have stuff from Miss Laura, from Jean, from Debbie. Um, and I'm trying to think of who else. I 
take off the top of my head. No, no, no. It'll be May 2nd. May 2nd. Saturday, May 2nd. My auction will be this Sunday. My auction will be this Sunday. Um, I don't like to do the two auctions like back to back just because it's a lot of work for me. But my auction will be this Saturday, the 26th. And I'll do um, the Disabled Artist Foundation one on May 2nd. For some reason, I just thought that was the around the 30. I thought for some reason, I don't know. My brain's dead. Yeah, I planned on doing it the following Saturday. Okay. Let's pick another prompt unless somebody is still working. Laura just wants to get it over with. <laughs> All right. No, I started at almost nine o'clock. All right, number five is put some paint or ink onto a piece of acetate or plastic type of thing. I'll just put plastic because acetate works great. Um, and then print with it, like kind of like a mono print. So I like this one, it's a lot of fun to do. It's easy. If you have like a piece of plastic and acetate laying around like this from like stamps or something, or you can use like, you can't even see it, but it's a piece of acetate. Um, or if you have like a, if you don't have anything, plastic Ziploc bag. I know you were kidding. I was just joking with you. Um, plastic, uh, like Ziploc bag will work. Uh, anything, you can even use a plastic grocery bag. Slap some paint on it and then print it on your paper. That's basically what we're doing. You can just make little mini uh, like mono prints kind of. So I'm just gonna I'm oozing. So I just take a few colors and I just dot it around and get it all over my hands. <laughs> and let's see. We'll take a little more of that pistachio because I like that one. I'm probably doing it in too big of an area. <laughs> and some this teal maybe. What I like to do is mix it around a little bit. I don't just dot it like that. I usually either take my finger, which is fun, or you can use like a palette knife. Um and do like where you just take it and like the tip of the palette knife, you could just kind of mix it. You don't want to mix it so it's completely mixed, but just kind of, you know, you can make like a design out of it. And the first one I put down, like anywhere it's really clumpy, you can move like a little bit of it so it's not so clumpy. But the first one that I put down, I usually just, I don't press very hard because this way you get several prints out of it. So I'll just kind of lay it down and, and not press at all like this. I'll just kind of go like that and just kind of like touch it so that it hits the paper a little bit so that then I get a little bit of a print and then the next one I kind of go a little bit harder and then the next one I go a little bit harder and then this way I just keep going all the way around until I get all the color kind of laid down and I'll even go back to the start because sometimes the start has the most paint and I can kind of just spread it out with my hands and then I get like I just get some interesting, you can go back and like re-push some of the paint if it's gloppy. If you don't, you know, you'll get a lot of coverage out of it. So I'm probably just going to do one on each one. So if you want to do like a smaller one, I'm doing kind of a big piece. Actually, this would be cool on that one. The 
what's on here. I can get the rest of what's on here. I squirt a little water. I can take it and actually, I'll do it this way. I can lift it up now that it's like attached to the table. Some interesting prints by doing that. It's, it's a fun way to do, it's like if you don't have a jelly print, you kind of get like some cool color on things. And you get some interesting, interesting color and little random patterns. And then you wipe it off and you can do it again. You do it as many times as you want. You do it once across your paper and that's it. Depends on what you're looking to do. Usually I use a piece about half this size. I don't usually use a big piece. So for the next one, I'm only gonna use like half of it because the other pieces are smaller. Let's move that out of the way. So I don't want to do a whole piece, so I'll do the yellows next. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to grab a yellow. This is like a yellow ochre and a metallic yellow. And a little of this dark orange. swiping motion and just do it a couple times across very lightly and get like a, like a good mixture but again the first time you put it down just be careful because you'll get a lot of color so I just barely do it just barely disappeared. Orange. Like the same color almost. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was pleasant. 
That was pleasant. Patterns in it. Keep it on my palette knife. I like checkers. see it because too much on there. Too much paint down on there already. But I tried. I'll just, just scrape what I got left so I don't waste it. Big old fun mess. Good night, Laura. It's hard to get this stuff off the thing when it's wet. Okay. the sticky paint that I don't I love the color hate the paint see it better because the papers the paint is darker than the, what I got on there so it shows up a little better than the pattern I made and now I'm making a mess of it fun it's just good messy fun Wilt of paint and mess. I used way too much paint on it, but that's okay. That's the good thing about mixing me a mashup. <laughs> the way your thing starts out is not the way it's going to end.
you have a chance for redemption. If you don't like the way it's going, there's always a way to make that all change. I've had ones that I've started out with all like pink and, you know, pretty and, and nice. And then it turns into like this, you know, like black and purple and metallic gold or something. It's all completely different at the end. You never know. Make a mess on the back. All right. Let's dry these off. I still like that one the best. favorite. I like all the colors. We're only halfway through. We still got five more cards to pick. Plus optionals. So mine are going to look way different. Probably. I mean, they'll be the sa same colors, though. Because I'm trying to keep them that way. But we will have some changes. time I probably probably not why why are you calling nine wawa <laughs> why is it your least favorite prompt it's fun Denise. All right. Let's pick the next prompt. The next one is a poodle pass. So you could do whatever you want. This is from when, what was it? Gail, I think said something about use dog or cat hair. And I've jokingly made that. Um, anyway, poodle pass. You could do whatever you want for this one. I am going to stamp with some stays on on here and I have this olive green stays on let's see if it shows up over all this mess yeah it does 
good. But you could do whatever you want on your Poodle Pass. Have the storms passed, Laura? sucker over here. And we got some color. And I got some dark purple. Good that it's finally kind of calmed down. Good deal. And then it's no fun when it's storming Norman out there. I don't know if this color will show up on here, but mm, 
I could try. It might be hard because of that other pink, but if it does, cool. If it doesn't, fine. That kind of shows up. I'll put a couple of them. pink stays on. I don't know if I do or not actually. Oh, I have orange. Do some orange. I'll do this one. My stomach's growling. Don't mind that. This one may be losing its appeal. It's inkage. <laughs> CPR. <laughs> pump, pump, breathe. Because <laughs> it's got to go over all that texture. I'm going to shove it down there real good. I don't feel like getting my foam thing either. Hi, Stephanie. You might not be able to see it on camera, but I can see it. It's not the darkest thing on the planet, but I definitely see it. Good enough. Good enough. I wonder if this one will show up at all. A little bit. Does anybody need more time on that one? colors, three papers. The wings lifted now they are 3D. What wings? Oh I did a happy accident. Oh what about plastic so I got butterflies in there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Your butter your paper's gonna fly off with a butterfly attached to it. All right, next card. Hmm. I'm only gonna do this on one of them. Use pink. We will do that on that one. <laughs> I could throw a little bit of pink on this one. I'm just not gonna be overdoing that because let's uh, let's take some of that pale pink and uh, hmm. Well, no, it's not. No, no, no. Let's take some pale pink and see if I have a, uh, a foamy stamp. I'm going to do a flower or, ooh, there we go. Kind of spread it out. Some 
pretties on that one. Get pretty wings. Melon. That might be good for over there. It's like a melon pink. Melon. similar to that color but it's not. They are different. They're just not showing up on camera as different. Too much different. Very well. Like I did there and the other places.
see. Where's my other page? Do some stamping off of. Use up that paint. There's no wasting. Wasting is wasteful. Anybody need more time on that one? I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun for a second though. Let it dry a little. Is there more storms coming? I wonder if we're getting them. I don't, I never pay attention. Let me see. It's raining now, I guess. I didn't even realize it was, or is it? Yeah, it's, I guess it's raining outside and I didn't even realize it. Oh yeah, look at those, all those lovely storms coming right at me. It looks like most of the thunderstorms and stuff are dissipating before they're getting to me, but it is raining. So it doesn't look like we're going to get anything severe. I don't see any updates or anything that says we're going to get severe weather. You guys must be a lot warmer temperature than us. Because for us, it's only 53 degrees. That's why it's probably in the, or much warmer for you, which is why you're getting them severe. All right. Now I've got a million papers up here. Let's pick another card. Got 8,000 paints up here, but we're going to need some paint after too. So 
No worries. Oh, something I already did. <sighs> Use stamps. Something I already did. Uh, oh, well, I could use my household stamps, but I did not do yet. So I'll just grab some of that. Goobly got. Let me just throw some things on. Ooh, some bubble wrap, my favorite. We'll do some bubble wrapping. Want to do some bubble wrapping? Let's do some bubble wrapping. So if you already did some stamping like I just did, and, and you haven't used your homemade stamps, then grab those and use those. Let's see, what color? Use these two. Nice light teal. Throw that on there. Get some on there, please. I popped one of the bubble wrap. Scared the hell out of me too. I was like, what was that? <laughs> Duh. It was very rare that I actually ever pop it when I press, but that time I I went a little hard. I don't care if they pop, they still work even when they're popped. yellow a while ago right that was the thick stuff I think let's use this one because I did not use this one I brought it over here but I hadn't used it yet Smear that one. <laughs> Sometimes this one ends up being my favorite one, and I'm liking that one. Sometimes my use up one. going to put the bubble wrap away thinking because I'm used to just doing it once and then but I want some on that side too oh my chair drives me nuts this thing drives me nuts I'll tell you let's do some white on this one a little bit of white um if I could find the white paint it's over here somewhere Nope, that's not it. <laughs> How about just gesso? Gesso will work as white paint. It will, it will.
Okay, now let's put it away. It's 70 there? Yeah. That's all it takes is for it to be about 70 degrees and then a storm comes in with a little bit of cooler air and bam. That's how you get your tonitos. Because that's usually what it has to be here, about 70. And that's when, if the storms come through and it's, you know, and and it's 70 degrees here and the storms come through with a little bit of cooler air, we that's when we'll see the tornadoes pop up. I'll do some squares. Squares. Do some squares. Similar, like a little shade different than the other one. So put something else a little better. Oh, this one in green. Whoa, <laughs> bowling. Fair. This color and the pistachio together. Do that one and some of this one and we'll make like a colorful thing colorful thing you know I think this got to be thinned out I remember but this particular thing won't pick up a lot of paint if I don't thin it out. My hands are gross. What else is new? When do you not see me with gross hands? Never. Yeah, it's coming at me, but the 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 the, the air isn't warm enough, so we're not going to get any kind of tornadoes from it. We won't get anything but rain and maybe a little bit of thunder. We will luck out as we have pretty much all year so far, thankfully.
Some of that color. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it all up. Put it in your pocket. This I can actually stick right in my bucket. And then I can clean it with the scrub brush later. cupped itself to the table. Anybody need more time? Probably not.
Next card. You can make more. You organize your clay and have lots more Oreo cookie molds. I uh, lost your Oreo cookie mold. You had Oreo cookie molds? For what? Clay? To make Oreo cookie clay things? Didn't you show a picture of one of those at some point? Oh, did I pick a card? No. Ink. Ink. Inkity, inkity, ink. So you can use your inks um, to drip with, to stamp with, to do whatever you want, really. To splatter with, which is what I think I'll do. Oh, someone is awake. Someone awake. Someone is awake, someone is awake. I lost my, oh there it is, it's hiding. Yellow might look good over here. A couple spots. Get some big, get some big ones going there. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Little chicken feet. That's what it looks like. <laughs> that's funny. I got chicken feet. And then on the pink we can splatter. Um, splatter this or some Ooh, I've got like a neon pink. Now you know what? I'm gonna put some red. I think. I'm gonna splatter some red on that because why not? dark blue on the other one. I can't get it off. Oh, that was painful.
kind of see if I have a green. I can put on there too. Um, this green, oh, this greenish, bluish, metallic -y color. A nice you can drip your ink too if you don't like to splatter it you can drip it you could just stamp with it if you want to stamp with some like stays on ink or paint with it if you don't have this kind of ink you can just use refill ink for your stamps if you have any or you can just skip it I need to splatter some of the lime green. I just have to. I just have to. Oh, yeah. Gotta do that. Can't not do that. These are big splatters. Get in there. This page looks completely different than when I started. Okay. Now, uh oh, I'm being summoned. He's gonna have to wait till I pick the next card, and I have to put that in the. In the uh, thing. Right now he's just burning a hole through the back of my head. He hasn't started walking on things yet or growling or sneezing. He's still in the sitting there burning a hole through the head thing phase. He's still got a couple more steps before he gets annoying. <laughs> All right. Oh, I put the ink up. Oh, I didn't realize I did. All right, we're going to pick number 10, then I'm going to let him out. Oh, <laughs> add paint or ink splatters or drips. <laughs> kind of just had ink. So if you haven't done your splatters, now you can do splatters. I don't need to do splatters, so this is a good time for me to let Tigger out. right back let me let him out real quick
Okay, I grabbed myself a Yoo-Hoo and my Fig Newtons. Oh, all right, let's pick our optionals. Oh, that's a fun sound. I don't need that anymore. Our first optional is add flowers. If you're going to be making your the tiki people with us, you're gonna wanna, if you're gonna add flowers, paint them on or stamp them on. Don't add like physical flowers. What am I looking for? My mouse. You're going to want to just add painted or stamped flowers. The other optional one you can do, excuse you, add sparkle. And the last optional one is add dots. So, those are the optionals. While you guys are doing those, I'm going to dump out my water and put fresh water in it for our next part. Because my water looks like that. And it's very sludgy and gross. So, give me a second. And I just dropped something on the ground. Alright, clean water. We can all use some clean water. And after all that can. Oh, that was pretty gross. Pretty gross. Alright. Big shock, Laura. You're done. <laughs> I would have never thought. Never in a million years I would have thought you were done. You had nice neat piles? Piles of what? What did you have piles of? Alright, now... I'm not doing any of the optional ones to save time. This 
Stop it. Just gonna clean up my mess. All right, so. Are you doing kits? Oh, cool. Very nice. I need to get a big Newton because my sugar dropping like crazy because I haven't eaten all day. So I got up. So, if you have cardboard or chipboard, stereo box. I've got chipboard. It's like cereal. Oh, it's probably thicker than cereal box chip. Yeah, it is thicker than. Ch this is more like cereal box. And that's. You can't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's thicker. I'm going to use the thicker one for. Um, doesn't matter. You use what you have. If you have a. a, a I think uh, Gene and anybody else I've seen doing it uses actual just like cardboard. But I don't feel like cutting up cardboard because <laughs> that would kill my hands right now. So I'm going to use chipboard as my base. And what I've seen everybody do is that theirs isn't square. It's like, you know, off kilter a bit, you know, like it's like a little wonky. You can use your scissors um, or a cutter if you have it. That'll cut something thick. Hold on one second. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. I had to go deal with something. Anyway, you're going to, you can do whatever shape you want with your face. You can make it partially curved. You can make it kind of like wonky on top. You can make it, you know, go at an angle. I don't know if these scissors are going to cut. But yeah, it should. I think what I'm going to do is, it's probably best to use your pencil and like, you know, make a shape that you, you know, want to cut out. So I think what I'll do is I will go like this and I'll just curve that a little bit. And I'm gonna probably curve this up here and make it just kind of go like that. And then I'll leave it like that and just kind of curve this a little bit. And so slightly curvy. I'm just going to cut, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's hard to cut, but chipboard is hard to cut this thick anyway. Now if you don't have 
good scissors, then you, you could probably do it with a razor if you're careful. It's easier to cut off chunks. If you have these scissors, then you're in better shape. how big your face will be. You can make it smaller if you want. You could save some of these if they're bigger. That one's probably the only one I'll save. Now, the you can make your shapes however you want to make your face. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. You want, you're gonna wanna make lips, you're gonna wanna make a nose, you're gonna wanna make two eyes, and have everything kind of dimensional as much as possible. So when what we're gonna do first is we're gonna paint our face, and then we're gonna use our mixed media mashup to make our features with. Um, but we're gonna paint this first and make it separate um, because it's not gonna be as busy. So you could choose a color, you know, whatever color strikes your fancy um, and then we're gonna do a couple little designs on it to make it you know not so plain I'm trying to find a color that I want to use um, maybe I'll do this lime green that'll be my base color that sounds good Can't see the damn chat. Where'd it go? Oh. So grab you a paintbrush and paint your. Oh, here it is. Paint your face. You might need. Well, I probably should have gessoed it. Gesso it first. Don't be an idiot like me. I'm gonna have to. I'll do two coats, but gesso it's probably a better idea because it might their paint will probably go on better, especially if it's a darker cardboard. I forgot that stamp. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but it would make it a little better, I think, if you did. Just pick a color for your face. Doesn't it? May, it doesn't have to be face color. You know, blue. You can make it orange. You can make it pink. You can make it yellow. Whatever floats your boat. They're supposed to be funky. Just fun. I'm gonna put a second coat on that, but first I will dry it. hand still hurts from cutting cardboard I bet Enough. 
Come on. You need to go lay down, bud. I don't want to roll over you in my chair, buddy. Okay? Be a good boy. Go lay down. I just gave you food and you went out. Be a good little puppy today. It was nice when you were snoring. Why don't you try that again? <laughs> Let's play that game again. Actually, a little heavier of a coat on. And each of the little features we put on are going to be separate in their own kind of layer. First, we're going to kind of give this a little bit of interest, so once it's dry, it'll be, we're not going to do as much as we would if it was mixed media mashup. We're going to save that, all that busy funness for the features to, for it to pop out on the, on the background. Yeah, definitely colors will be more vibrant if you gesso it. So don't, don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> but if you put two or three coats on, if you didn't gesso it, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. So now, what we're gonna do on the background is um add some minor detail like for instance we can take um something that'll leave some marks on the page uh, i'm trying to think of something i have which i don't Trying to find something specific. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna put some stamping on. So you can use your household stamps, use your foam stamps, and like just stamp, you know, in like two or three places, not anything major. We're also gonna do some painting on here, but we're gonna do something. Um so we're gonna add some background things. Like in other words, not like our mixed media mashup, but um we're gonna add some things to it. And I think I wanna use like, maybe yellow, maybe yellow. So I'm gonna take this, this is thick, so I'm gonna have to water that down a little bit. And I'm gonna use this in a couple places. Cause it's a very thick. Okay, and 
so I'm just gonna do like over here and I'm gonna throw the whole thing in it because why not do over <laughs> you see what I just did <laughs> I not only threw it into the paint the other thing slipped on top look we're gonna do that <laughs> don't do what I do do the opposite <clears throat> okay try that again take two good this time don't fling it across the room that's been my theme this week is like flinging things across the room not sure why so I'm only gonna do this in like three places just like that I'm not gonna overdo it and then we're gonna add a few other little things I like the fact that on the one that I saw you do, Jean, you had some stripes on it, which I thought was really cute. And like a little geometric. So this is like a background thing and then we're gonna add a few more other things. Um, let me dry that real quick. I made you snort. <laughs> Did she? She left? Oh, she was just here. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry. Bye, Jean. I didn't see. I was too busy cleaning up my mess. Okay, so I like that she, uh, yeah, she had put some stripes like down one side of it, um, which I thought was cute. Like, I guess we could do that here. I think she did it on the left side and I thought that was really cute. Like two just completely, you know, random colors, um, like let's say purple, um, purple and Looking for that pink color. Let's do purple and, oh, you know what, purple. Yeah, purple and pink, or purple and red. Purple and whatever this color is. Um, I'll start with the purple one. And we're just gonna paint like a stripe this, you know, they don't have to be perfect. We're not like, we don't have to paint them like a perfectly straight line. I'll start with the purple and then see what strikes strikes me, but we're gonna do them right next to each other. Oops, I guess I'm doing it right there. I'll make a mess of this yet. So we're just gonna go do like like that. And just do I may need a couple of coats, especially if I'm using purple, because purple sucks. It is so translucent of a color. A little bit thicker. The idea of it being a little wonky. I'll dry that real quick and throw another coat on there. You can also use your paint markers if you have them because we're going to use some uh, markers. You can use Sharpie, but we're going to need a black marker, pen, Sharpie, something like that. Preferably black and white if you have them. First, we need to do our face. And so any of your lines that are a little wonky, when we go over, we're gonna actually, we're gonna actually outline them with a black marker. So 
it'll kind of straighten them out a little bit. They won't look as wonky, so don't worry about it if your lines are not great. Because when we do the black pen or Sharpie or whatever you use, paint pen, it'll it'll fix any kind of like weird feathered lines. Tigger, I swear to God, boy. Uh, boy, I swear it. You want me to tuck you in? Jesus. Anybody else have a dog that cries because they want you to tuck them in? Let's tuck. Go ahead. Tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck. Tuck. Good boy. Lay down. Down, down. Lay down. Come on, good boy. Lay down, baby. Down. Yeah, you don't need to rub it. Lay down. Dig at it. Just lay down. All right. Go to sleep, okay? Tuck, tuck. Lay with your baby. Night, night. <laughs> Anywho. My piece of bread? What bread? What bread are you talking about? I have no bread. Who did you say SpongeBob in jail? <laughs> SpongeBob is yellow, first of all. <laughs> know your cartoons. Or are you talking about yours? And he's square. This is more like Frankenstein. I was going for a monster vibe. bread this oh i see what you're saying this looks like bread got it huh. that's funny green bread with a purple stripe i thought you were talking about the cookie that i had before i was like she said she think i had bread in my hand different color. No, it is my face. God, don't you pay attention? This is what I look like. And I'm going to add this color. This teal. Try this a little bit. I got that there. Don't even have anything on my hand yet. Because all I have to do is touch the bottle.
stripes done. Now she excuse you. What are you doing there? I don't know. Um, she also did like um she did like a triangle over here, which I kind of thought was cute too. And I'd like to do that with Um, maybe some maybe some maybe another blue or a metallic or something. Not that one. Where's the metallic? Maybe I'll do it with this and I'll add metallic into it. Do that. So I'm doing it similar to how she did hers because it's the first time I'm doing it and I really like the way hers came out. So just, just did like a you can do any geometric shape you want and you know you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing you can kind of do whatever float your boat and again we're going to outline it with black um, marker so don't worry about too much about you know having perfect lines or anything do, do the best you can and then let the marker kind of be the fixer although mine is a little no it's fine it's fine it's fine I might actually put another color on this too well I want to put that metallic color on Nice and bright. paint dries pretty quick if you put thin layers on and dry it in between with the heat gun it'll go pretty quickly since some of your colors you'll probably need like three coats now they're supposed to be colorful and fun um so don't be afraid to use some funky colors. Put this back in here. I'm gonna grab that metallic I wanted because I guess I didn't bring it over here before. Actually, do I like this one better? Mm, maybe. Get back here. She even did some like highlighting and stuff in in her lines and stuff, which we could do that too. Let's see, Let me put a little of this out here. Yeah, take a little of that, and I'm going to just lightly kind of 
barely brush it on. I guess I didn't need that much. <laughs> but I can also use that as like a highlight on my thing too, probably. So maybe I'll do like a highlight of metallic to use up some of that. It's probably too big of a brush for that. Let me get a smaller one. So did I think uh, I think she had some like little they look almost like hairs or something hanging here um, just little details that were kind of cool uh, let's see um, let's do them in maybe I'll do them in like a really pale the pathetic the pistachio color. You can do them in white. I think hers were either in white or yellow. White? White. I think hers were in white. But she just basically did like little... We're going to outline these two, so... Like that. Different sizes. That brush I should be using this brush. I should be using this brush. I might have made like hairs, but <clears throat> I'm try them in the
like so. Good enough. is coming together nicely. Now, let this dry. Now we're going to outline our whole face in black. So uh, black marker, black Sharpie, whichever works uh, for you. What's in this? This white? Don't know. I don't know what that is. I need black on my black pen. going on over here. Mm, black pen, black pen, black pen. Um, here we go. And these chocolate ones probably would be good. There we go. It's about damn time. So we're just going to go around and kind of frame our face. Or are you just going to be a jackass? Because really, I ain't got time for that. Nobody has time for that. Because if I have to, I'll use a paintbrush if that's going to be better. Because this thing is like not having it, apparently. black pens. This one's annoying the living crap out of me. This pasta one. Too thin. I got this one. What's this? What color is it? Black? Oh, that's great. Let's see if this works better.
No. Okay. Why do you seem like you work, but then when I do it, it doesn't work? Oh my god, please. One, 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 one. That works. Just one. Just one freaking pen. That works. It gives me a decent line. black please I know I have a black one <laughs> there it is I'm like where the hell did you been that's silver is there like do they have to, couldn't they put a silver cap on it can I have the black one please Jesus you here nine damn years that's better thank you Actually writes when I put it to the paper. Ay ay ay. Better off using a sharpie. And then you're gonna outline your lines, those, and your and your whatever shapes you put on there. I don't know if you put a triangle or not, but what's up with that pen? Is that an oil-based pen or something? The other one that I tried? I don't know. But it's sticking. stuff like this I think I should put my glasses on don't you think 
Don't you think? I'll put my glasses on. Double mine. Like that. Just for the hell of it. Why not? Why not? Snickety. Paint pens sure are persnickety. So we have that paint for to retouch it up again. <laughs> Nothing over here is wet, right? Stop working, pen. Okay, well, screw it. All right. Oh, I think she had some other things painted in here, too. I don't remember what it was, but we're going to put, I'm going to put little circles in there. Um, with some purple. I'll use the purple I had, and I'll put a little put a little bit and I'll put some circles in there you can use a stencil if you want to I'm just gonna put some circles freehand so they're just kind of
like that. Let them go and put another coat. And then we're going to outline those two. I like this that um I can't speak metallic I want to put a purple metallic on the other one because I liked it because I like it so going up that side we're gonna or I'm gonna put one you don't have to I want to on the floor today. Eight, ten, twelve. Eight or ten or twelve. I'm just going to be careful not to go hit my black line because I should have done it before I did that, but I just decided it right now. <laughs> just made the decision.
So who's doing them along with me? And what material are you using? Are you using cardboard? Are you using chipboard? What are you using for your base of the base of your face? <laughs> of your tiki face. Is that a lighter? No, it's a dark purple, actually. It's, 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 it's just a metallic. It's just for highlighting and just interest. It's not, it's not a different color, actually. It's like the same purple. It's just the metallic version of it, kind of. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but close enough. I just had a metallic that was almost a similar color. You can use any metallic. Looks cool under the light. Oh, you mean I might put some actually in here and like I don't know, like highlight my little soikles. Maybe use it to highlight my soikles. Just like kind of give them a Like little C's. <laughs> little C's. What's distracting? There you go. Happy? Okay. Um. Now, uh, Now we can start, um, we can put some details in on the, um, on your lines and stuff because we can add some white to give it a little more detail. So if you have a white fine line kind of pen or you can use paint too. Uh, if you have a white I don't know if this one, I forget if this 
one is weird or not. I think it might be all right as long as I'm careful with it. Because you can add like little details. Like I think she did like, actually I think she did with the black first. Um, this might be better with a Sharpie if you don't have a thin marker. Oh, I forgot about these markers. The white works really well on this one though. I forget if the white works. Mm. White's kind of weird on that. Where's the... I'm looking for... Where the hell are they? Oh, are they in here? Yep, they're in here. So, she made like uh, some different designs on her lines. So, for instance, she did like some little scallops going up part of the way, not all the way. And you can use like a Sharpie if you don't have like a, a thin paint marker. And you can color them in with white or whatever light, you know, color you want. And let's see. I'm going to put a few over here going this way on the inside. I think she did something where she like thickened the black line on there. Like, well, she took this line and she kind of skewed it out like that. And then added like white to it, which I kind of liked. I'll show you. set of little bumpities over here. here. And you might not see some of these because don't forget we're going to put facial features over. So we might not see all of these. You could do some on here if you wanted to. Like you could do little scallop lines or what have you. I'm just going to take it and paint um, if I can get, no, this is the one that drips all over the place. No, no, we won't be using that. Thank you very much. No, we will not. What about this one? Does this one have a real thick nib on it? Yeah, it works, but it's got like a thicker, hard to control nib. That's not going to work. And then there's my Posca. Which works pretty good I think yeah that'll work putting white in there and I'm gonna put some white in these like I said, you can use paint if you need to, like white paint, gesso, whatever you got.
just gives it some detail. Nice little details. And then in there, you would need like a thin, let's see if my thinner one, do I have a white thinner one? Or do I not have a white thinner one? You could use really any, any light color. What other thinner one did I have? What's this one? Ultra fine. Did I like this one? I don't even remember if I ever got this thing working. Sorry, I had to bang it to get it. I'm trying to get the thing loose in it to shake the paint. I don't think it's going to. <laughs> shaky, shaky. No worky, worky. Maybe it doesn't work. I don't remember if I ever even used this thing. I got it from the crate overuse. Hmm. Maybe I didn't use it. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to find. Is that a white fine point that went with the set in here, but I don't know where it went. Did I stick it somewhere? Let's see if I stuck it somewhere. Huh. Let's see. Oh yeah, I did. Here it is. Aha, sneaky. There it is. Anywho. She did like stripes in her, in her uh, little section. Let me make sure this is writing first. There we go. There we go. Now it's writing. Basically just some doodling. And then you could put some dots in the white as well. Some dots in the circles. And then with this one, I can put some
are two. I think this is done, so we're gonna make the features of our vice, which we're gonna need our mixed medium mashup for. And a piece of chipboard or cardboard or whatever this is made out of is fine. And we're gonna make some shapes. Let's see. We'll make shapes with this first, and then we'll put the other thing on it. Um, trying to find oh, this. I had this, which I thought would make a good nose, just to clean it up a little bit, because it doesn't need to be that damn long. Let's see how long. Um, actually, it needs to be a little more narrow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it about here. And I'm going to either make it go, yeah, like that. Oh, that's actually perfect, actually. I kind of like that shape. So I might leave it just like that. I might thin it out just slightly. Oops, I didn't mean to angle it. Dang it. I want it straight. I like that side being straight. Okay, that's better. Okay. So that'll be, what we're gonna do is then, we're gonna choose what we want it, what color or where we wanna do it, and we're gonna glue this to the back and then cut it out. So that this way it's already on there. So we'll take this and we'll glue it. We'll glue all our shapes to where we want them, and then we'll cut them out. So that's gonna be the nose. And then, let's see, you can do an eye that's round, you could do an eye that's square, you could do one that's triangle. Um, like for me, if you have something you could trace, but you want it to be large and like almost sticky, like pretty much sticking off the page. So it's going to be large your eye. So you want something and if, and if it helps to find something that you can like this, right? So it's going to be, yeah, this is a good size actually. So if that's going to be one of the eyes, that's, you know, a good size because you want it to be, you know, disproportionate. We're not trying to make, you know, proportionate features. So something around the lines of this would be good. Oops. I need to get it to be circular. And it doesn't have to be cut like perfect. It'd be easier to cut it out like that first. What a little. I want to have like little, yeah, I do little Tim Holtz snippy scissor things. It a little easier for some of these smaller pieces. If it's like really cattywampus that would even be fine too you know what I mean make it like nice and wonky give it a little character if you want make it an oval shape so that'll be one eye And then I think I'll do a square for the other. Where can those go? That's 
just got to be able to go kind of in between so they can stick off like that. And that's going to go like similar to that. And then we'll put a mouth. These might be a little big. I might make these a little bit smaller. Just kind of bring it in a little bit. this one down a little bit too so I have room for the features and stuff that's good all right and then our mouth can be however you want it so you can make it you know like a mouth or you can make it not look like a mouth um, You draw it out first. I think I'll do something like that, but bigger. I'll just use that as a guide. hard to cut a curve with these on chipboard. <laughs> Let me get back here. That might not be big enough. It might be too small. I thought I was making it big enough. Mm, I guess it could be big enough. I'm going to try something else, too. I'm like save your extra sheet stuff like this because we're going to put um, an eyeball and, like, eyelashes, and we're going to do all that with our chipboard pieces so don't throw away anything significant. Let's try drawing it proportionate. To what I want, not that big, but um, maybe I'll do a. I can't draw with it. I suck at drawing, but you know. Too lippy. I like the I like the curvy. The pointy. I like I mean that's what I like. The pointy. Not for me, but for for my lady. I guess it's a lady, I don't know. Maybe it's a man. Gender neutral. That's better. It looks like a bat. Hey Laura, I'm drawing lips for you. Bat lips. Mm. Oh, this is thick ass chipboard. But you want it to have some dimension. I mean, you, if you don't have thick chipboard, you could take some thinner, like, cereal box chipboard and glue it together to have a little bit of layering to make it a little thicker if you wanted to. So that, because you want it to poke off a little bit. If you don't, you can always use a little fun foam behind it to make it stand up, which I may do, because I do want it to stand up a little bit, because usually they're, like, thicker pieces, and this is kind of thin. Like, cardboard would be better, but at the same time, cardboard's also a pain in the ass to cut. <laughs> Not that this isn't a pain in the ass to cut, because it is, but if you layer a couple pieces... Stop falling out of my hand. 
there. There, that's better. That's a better lippy. Be like that. Well, that's a little cattywampus, ain't it? So to your mixed media mashup. And then cut it out. So use like aliens or something. So let's see. We will do. This is why I wanted several different colors so that I didn't have just one color. We'll do the lips in the pinky purple. What have you? I'm gonna actually cut out a piece this way. I don't have to try to cut it out of this. So I'll cut this off. And then I'll glue it on there like that. And then let's see. For the nose, we'll do maybe the orange. Or you could do all your features, you know, the same piece. It's fine. This is a thinner paper that I did. So I'll get some of my glue. Oh, you know what? Where's this? I'll use this. It's not going to take forever to get it out of the bottle, which I don't think it will. It's not as thick as Aileen's. minutes to set and then I can cut it out. my paper so nicely. I wonder why. Maybe because I'm a slob when I do art, is it? You might have to use like um, clothes pins to hold down your corners and stuff if it starts to get a little 
out of hand because sometimes it doesn't like to glue because you know if something curls up a little bit like this you might need to use some sort of a clip to clip it down you want to go with chipboard, cardboard, or anything like that. Especially these little suckers, little corners I got going on here. They're definitely going to need to be helped out a little bit. It shouldn't take too long to set. Once they set, usually two or three minutes you can pull off the thingies. Excuse you, get off me. Good night, Laura. Cut pool. Right. 
and we'll put like paint around the edge there and then and then the paint pens or the marker around there find it that would be great too much crap around here too much crap there we go sealed up get you all sealed up now <laughs> Silly. Silly! Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take some black paint. You can use your paint pen if you want, but I think on your finger a little black paint might be a little easier. I could be wrong. Cause we're not we're gonna do the other th where we outline it too but we should do this part first and just kind of go around the side there with your finger and this way if you get it up there it's no big deal because you're gonna go over it anyway with the pen but at least we get the sides here kind of done Maybe the be glued a little better. So I'm let that sit for a minute like that while I do the other one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Thank you. 
not the most even. I didn't do the most even job cutting it. part I just can't avoid having paint all over my hands, can I? No, I cannot. And then my lippy. With this one I need a brush for. So I had a hard time getting next to the chipboard on these curves. Okay. Did I have another piece? No, I did them all. Kind of. We'll probably need that again, but this will dry up in the interim. Okay, now, now we're going to take our marker, black markers again, and draw a line around. Oh, not that one, that's the other one. I don't want that one. Draw a line around. Oh, 
foot at the bottom. Boo. One. One and a two and a three. And for the lips, you can draw, you know, your line for separating the lips. Which I'm going to do the thinner marker. Like that. But for the eyes, it'll be a little different because we're going to add our eyeballs separately. So that's why I said grab your um, chipboard if you have any bigger pieces, which, you know, that should work. Because what we're gonna do is draw an eyeball, or an eye, really. And we're gonna cut it out. And you can use the one to draw the other one when you cut one out. Because we're actually going to paint the eye on. We're going to paint it white. We're going to gesso it. Then we're going to put an eyeball and all that stuff. So, so that'll be the eye like that. And it should be like, you know, in the middle. You can make it a little bigger if you want. But I think that's good. I might make mine a little bigger. I'll hold on to that in case I make another one, which I'm probably going to make another one anyway. So let's see. Maybe I'll make it a little. Let me see that one. I'm going to make it just a little bigger, but I like the shape of this. I'm going to make it just a little bigger. doesn't have to stick up off stick off the sides of the thing of your actual eye piece I don't know what the hell you would call that but okay yeah I like that okay I'm good with that now I need to make it again I don't think I have oh yeah this might be big enough Literally just barely big enough to make another eyeball on. Might not be actually. Huh? Yeah, I can do it barely.
one will be there, one will be there. So we're gonna paint those. Then, but then we need eyelashes, which we're going to put little, um, you could do them individually. I think she, I don't know if she had them in, yeah, I think she might have had them individually, but you can just um, make like little, little like spikes for eyelashes, but you're probably gonna wanna paint the whole thing like black and then do it. So like paint a whole piece or a couple pieces black. And then you also need eyebrows. So paint a couple pieces black. This way you have some for your features of your eye. And then these are gonna have to be painted white. Or just so that, well, probably white would be better just because it would cover better. I uh, just need to find a white paint because I don't know where the hell my white paint is. I had a white paint over here somewhere. Maybe here we go. I'm gonna tease it. It's not white. Hi, Una. We are making a tiki face. Mixed media tiki face person. I think Stephanie said, or Angie said, um, uh, that when they did them in the, for the, what's that, the carrot? Care Hearts group for the thing they called them like quarantine friends or something, which was funny. Probably need to get some no, 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 get back here. I thought you said the internet rests at 3 a.m. I thought, really? It rests, huh? Goes to sleep. Takes a nap. The internet gets sleepy too, you know? Okay. So those need to dry. These need to be painted black.
who takes a seven minute nap. <laughs> Power nap. our eyelashes and eyebrows Thank you Actually, why am I doing that? Because that's not the finished shape, so why would I bother doing the sides of it? I don't know. So I'm just going to cut it out, and I'm going to have to redo the sides, so why would I do that? don't know. wasn't thinking of that. I just kept thinking it was a shape that I needed, so it's like, okay, I need to do that. are pretty good although just for poops and gigs I'll throw a little more white on there because I need to use it up anyway because I can't put it back in the thingy shiny. You can also use your mixed media mashup as a background for your face and then make the features more plain so that they pop out. You can do it that way too, but I figured this way you get more out of your mixed media mashup because you can make several of these little people and use the mixed media mashup for different features and stuff. And you could change it up or add things to the things. Um, like add some more details to your thing if you cut one out and it's you want to add like some dots or you know even some white 
or some metallic or whatever. You can do that too. It's kind of like when we used the mixed media mashup to make those cute little heart dolls and those or those little triangle dolls I made, those little little art doll things with the the triangles, little angels and stuff. I think I made angels or fairies or whatever it was. I don't remember. All right, I'm going to need that for when I cut out the eyes anyway, so I'll leave that there. So I can use um well I'll let that dry a little more my paint pens to make my eyeball my eyeball my eyeball suck it. Hmm. Let's see these are, this will probably be good for the eyebrow. So this one's a little short, so I can make this one. Uh, where's the little scissors? And cut my doohickeys out of these. I'll start off with them pretty big and then see if I actually if you cut one and cut the other one we'll cut another one on the other side kind of go that go that way cuts one and go that way cuts another cool that's easy then you can kind of shape them when you get them measured out kind of make some shorter ones that one's gonna work so you probably need like i don't know four or five six per eye depending on how big your eye is maybe a little, maybe more you can do them just to the outside of the eye like let's say this is like the outside of the eye you can do them just to the outside if you wanted to but you can't see them because they are on a dark surface like these so you can do them where they're just like that. And just put like three or four. That's a big one that would go in the other way. And this one would probably have to go over there. So you know what I mean. One, two, three, four. Don't want to have to go on the other eye, too. You can do them just on the outside bit, or you can do them across the whole thing. But you're going to want to outline your eye in black again and do this, too, in black. But that's still sticky, so I need to wait for that to dry. Right, I'm gonna, but what you're going to want to do is get these, let me actually do this, make the, the bottoms are straight on these so they can go either or. I'll use a marker instead of the paint to do the side.
Get over there. Okay. Where's the black marker? Don't matter which one. My hands are gross. I wish my eyelashes were this long. <laughs> my eyelashes are terrible. I have to use that lash extension mascara to get any eyelashes.
this one almost could be a <laughs> no. I will cut it out of these. Actually, I'll cut it out of this one. Or this one. Probably that one. to do. I mean, not easy to do. Try to do a similar, because I like the shape of that. Not sure I can do it again, but I'll try. Dude, cut. Mm. Ow, cut my finger. <laughs> okay. I got them. This one I'm just going to use paint on because I made a mess of it. Trying to cut it out. Eyebrows on fleek. Okay. Are these dry yet? Because I'm over this being sticky stuff. gonna go over that with a little gesso so that it's not like that because <laughs> it's very sticky and I don't like it it's gonna leave marks every time I touch it and it won't seem to do anything else other than be sticky so if I go over it with gesso that'll put a stop to that because I don't like it so shiny and sticky I didn't notice that before about this paint but then again I haven't really used the white that much
dry yet but drier than they were before now I got to do the edge again and grayer because my hands are gross. What gets tangled up? Your eyelashes? What are they down to your butt? Whatever color eyes you want to make, whether it's blue or which one do I want these? Like that. Yeah, that's good. So if you want them blue or green or yellow or whatever color. I don't know. I'm just going to do them blue. Actually, I like this color blue. Just going to draw a pupil. <laughs> or at least attempt to draw a pupil. Just 
start with that. <laughs> Two eyes. I gotta outline them and add pupils and all that. Oh, what do I want to do with my eyes? I want to make them two different colors. Like, not two different colors, but each one have two different colors. Like flex. Is it still wet? Mine's gonna have a couple different flex in the eye. if I knew how to draw a straight line. <laughs> I have to fix that now. Shoot. There's a lump in my cardboard. Damn it. Oh, I really screwed that up. Yeah. Oh, great. I have to touch it up. Great. I screwed up my eye. Damn thing. Damn you. I don't know why. I'm not going to fix it.
eyes are a pain in my ass. I never was good at eyes. Raining, pouring. It was raining when I let Tigger out, but it's like pouring now. Pupil. Sparkle dot things, <laughs> which we need the white for. White paint would probably be best for that because it'll be. Uh, I just don't want the Arteza white paint because it's too damn sticky. It took forever to dry. I don't know what happened to mine. I had a little thing of white paint over here. Oh, was this it? Oh, this is that weird stuff. I don't know if it's any. I just got chunks of it on myself. It's very chunky. <laughs> I don't 
My paint's supposed to be that chunky. I had a, oh here, I don't know if it. Where the hell's the white that was sitting over here for like ever? disappears in here. Oh well, I guess I'm using chunky paint. Whatever. I just need to make three dots with it. I don't really care otherwise. Mm. Did everybody fall asleep? Mm -mm -mm. Did everyone fall asleep? Jamie's there. Okay, it's time to start assembling our person finally. We have our eyebrows, we have our eyes, we have our mouth and our nose markers all over the place we have our lashes somewhere here's some here's some and our dude our girl base <laughs> nose eyeball eyeball mouth I think she had cheeks on her so you can put cheeks if you want I think I'm not going to put cheeks on mine but she had like little circles that are painted and stuff with cheeks, but I think mine is good without that. And then we're going to put our eyelashes on. So first we're going to glue our stuff down. So that then we may, now I wanted to make mine a little bit higher, but you know what? I'm actually good with this. It's actually fine. It's not that low. I thought it was lower than it was. I kind of wanted to, you know, I thought they weren't dimensional enough, but they actually are. They're all good. So I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, but I could have put like chipboard underneath of it to rise them up if I wanted to, but eh, that's all right. I think they're good. Because now it's time to assemble our little tiki face. I think I want to put this on next. Mm. 
you know what? What? Oh, you're excited to see what it looks like. They're little cute little friends. I want to make some smaller ones at some point too. I don't know if I'll get to it today, but I do want to make some smaller ones, some little pocket friends. I don't know. being a little tilted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're using, we're using. What did I drop? Nothing. Okay, I thought I heard something. I guess it was nothing. dropping my leg 8,000 times. You got white on there? How do I do that? I'll fix it. Whoa, get back your eyeball. Put the nosy on. The nosy rosy. That's what I call it. Winnie. Nosy rosy. So damn nosy. She needs to know everything I'm doing. Hold it till it sets on some of these. They like to just have their own damn mind about things without sticking. Give it a moment. almost reminds me of in a weird way this face thing do you remember people from the from the 80s would remember hi Gloria how have you been reminds me of Max Hedrum <laughs> or like only because of the like the square thing with the glasses and the way he would have I don't know and those weird things he commercials I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that type of thing. But it also rem reminds me of those... Uh, they were like on... Were they like Nickelodeon or something? I don't know, but they were like... Characters like this, kind of. Kennedy might remember when you were younger. If you watched Nickelodeon.
I'm good. Slid mine over a little bit. Tuppy, how are you doing, Miss Tuppy? So we want the eyes to be straight. So let's put them that way. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I like to lift up a little bit. Have you been doing any crafting, Gloria? Thanks. Wowzer. Yeah, right. Nightbot's girlfriend. <laughs> on there. Is that what fell on the floor? I bet you it is. I bet you it did, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, it did. I just didn't see it because I wasn't looking for it. Oh, 
too long. I have to cut down my eyelashes a bit. So otherwise my eyebrows would have to go way up there. So I'm not sure that's a, the smartest idea. I don't know. It could be. Oh, it could sit like that. And then that one will have to go way up there. Uh, I'll make my, eyebrow, my eyelashes shorter. I'll shorten them, I'll shorten them. Too long. Where'd the eyebrow go? Uh oh. Oh, I <laughs> said, so did it run away? That's better. That'll do. are going to have to get severely trimmed as well. Oh, which means I need to... I guess I don't have to... Uh, I don't know. Bottoms will be... the bottom of them. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still too big. Hold still. He wants to move around too much. Squirmy. Thank you. 
across. I don't know. Nah, I don't think so. of these. Okay, time to gluey. Time to gluey. I use this glue, it would be a heck of a lot easier, most likely. I unclogged it first. It would even be better. What's better than clogged glue? Unclogged glue.
eyebrows. The only thing this person needs after this is a little glitter because let me tell you, she is too plain. She needs some damn glitter. Don't you think? She needs some damn sparkle. out of it. So I mean, every time I touch it, it's like changing. Paint is doing weird things. Oh, and she had like little things sticking up from it. Which I haven't done yet. I forgot all about that. Duh. Uh, let's see. Let's do. I forgot. She had like three little things. That made sense, didn't it? Uh, let's do it. I guess we'll do it this way. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Okay. 
cute how she did that. and all that stuff first. I don't need to back these on chipboard, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think so. Figure you're not getting any more food right now, so you can forget it, bud. You can cry all you want, but you ain't getting no more food, because I know that's what you're wanting. No, sorry. Sorry, Charlie. Oh, I know, it's so hard being a puppy. <laughs> Life is rough for you, spoiled. times today actually. What can I help you with, sir? Alright, you wanna be tucked in? Alright, let's go tuck then. That's about all you're getting though. There will be no food right now, buddy. Not for at least another hour or so, little fatty. Okay? Let's go tuck. Come on, we'll go tuck. glitter. I'm going to get some glitter on this stat. It's just way too plain without the glitter. 
and needs a damn glitter. A couple other details too, but glitter mostly. Let's see. some glitters because you know we gotta what are they supposed to be tiki dolls that's all tiki faces tiki dolls tiki faces art mixed media whatever they're not really supposed to be anything spectacular they're just supposed to be Tiki dolls. That's what they're calling them. That's what they're called. Do I have a black glitter? I always say that. I'm like, no, I do. Let's see. Let me Two different black ones. I don't know which one. I think this is the one I would like better. Actually, actually, somewhere one of my fairy paints is a glitter. It has a black, doesn't it? Yeah, here it is. That's what I was looking for. but I'm going to put it on here. They're tiki peepees. <laughs> tiki peoples. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, Picasso was the, the abstract artist, but there was like, this was like a thing. I've seen this before and I can, I'm trying to place like the commercial or the show or the whatever that these were on. Something like this. Um, but I can't remember. Did I get it in there? Okay, good. It's okay. That's all right.
figure. that paint. Careful with that. It's too big. Piece of my is too damn big for that. I can't get it in there. some sparkly lipstick.
do that. I want to do that. Don't do that. It's just sparkly lip. Okay, done. Huh? What? in the eyes but I don't know which one I want to put in the eyes stickles for the eyes. I use stickles because I can. Give me
pretty pretty sparkly eyes Pretty sparkly eyes and eyebrows. Pretty. The only other thing I want to do is touch up my white because my white is quite weak on these dots and these lines. Just yucky. So I just want to go in with that and put a couple dots in too. Just dotting it up. Mm, gotta fix my green. There, I'll do that in a minute. I don't suppose there's anybody here, still here that's working on theirs. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. 
very well. That was a little dark there, but try again. Excuse you. Who's dying? Who's here? <sighs> My little paper's constantly landing on it like it's like it's a magnet or something. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> Trying to turn around with something else that's on it. dude pupils like cracked. They look kind of cool. I like that. I'll see if it'll show up for the pupil or crackage. Look into my eye. Oh, the autofocus is off. Never mind. I forgot the autofocus was off. If I turned it back on, maybe it would work and I wouldn't have to worry about it. Okay, now I can turn it on and you can see the cracks in my eyeballs. You see it? The little crackies? The little crackies? Cute. White doesn't stay very white for very long. Kind of fades. It's a fader. Just kind of annoying.
cute. I like it. It doesn't really look cute. Hey, that's supposed to be a mess over there. Take your ass in there. And this is what happens to your hands when you do stuff for two days in a row that are messy. It is, it is. somewhere but I don't know where I don't know where but he is my friend he is my friend till the end Grief. That's quite the mess over here. I don't want to do it. I don't want to clean it. Somebody can clean it for me. get off of here now finally but thanks for hanging out and helping me make my man girl I think I'm gonna name her uh, Lucy that's her name Lucy <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna get off of here and make something to eat cuz I'm starving but thanks for hanging out tonight. It was a long night, but it was fun. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. I'll talk to you guys later. Yucky hands. Would you like me to serve your food? <laughs> Poodle pack out. Bye. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.